I want to tell you what a difference really looks like. On the way here, I got on a plane. And this girl, and as she got out of the way, her knee dislocated. And she fell into this chair, three seats ahead of me, she fell into, this, into the seat. And I looked up like, oh gosh, what happened? And I looked up and I was like, oh, that's a girl. I wonder if she's coming to seek because we're on the plane to Indianapolis. And then I saw, you know, some flight attendants come to her and I saw the, the woman right in front of her, like, okay, right here. And I'm like, okay, well, okay, she looks like she's taken care of. And then at one point, she looked back. She was in pain and her, we I caught her eye over my little headrest in front of me. And you guys, I gotta tell you, I, I was moved. I was like, oh my gosh, ah. Uh, but looks like it, people have take, looks, looks like she's being taken care of. And then again, she looked back. Mm, okay, I'm looked back down. Okay, she's, she's good. She got escorted off the plane. I have not stopped thinking about her this whole week. If I look tired, it's because I couldn't sleep last night. Because that girl on the plane, her name is Lucy. Lucy emailed me. She said, Father Mike, I was on my way to seek on your flight. So excited. I saw you were on my plane. I listened to the podcast. Listened to the videos and stuff, and I was so excited. And then I dislocated my kneecap, and all this stuff happened, and some people who were so generous, they came to help me out, and I looked back. You looked up, but you didn't come up. I was looking for my dad. Sorry about the seepage. <laughs> but you didn't move. I gotta tell you guys, it wasn't that I wasn't moved. It's that I didn't move. It wasn't that I didn't care. It's I didn't care enough to act. That's gonna happen to every one of us even after you've been following Jesus for a long time. Even when people think you're better than you actually are. So what do you do? Well, you say you're sorry. You ask Jesus for help. You get up and you try again. You're gonna fail. You're going back to a harsh environment. Your heart and my heart is broken. You're going to fail. What do you do when you fail? You say you're sorry. You ask Jesus for help. You get up and you try again. Because you're all Lucy. Everyone here is Lucy. She didn't make it. Here, she's live, she's alive. <laughs> we lost her. Doctors did their best. You know, I have a friend named Ryan. Ryan graduated from UMD. He was a missionary for a while. And Jesus is the center of Ryan's life. Ryan cares about the Lord. It's the center of his life, his wife's life. And Ryan has a great friend that he grew up with who was also raised Catholic, but doesn't really do much when it comes to the faith. And they play soccer together a couple times a week. And a couple weeks ago, Ryan realized he's, that he doesn't ever talk to this friend about Jesus. and never brings up God around this friend. And it wasn't like he doesn't care about Jesus. It wasn't like he doesn't care about his friend. He just didn't because of indifference. It wasn't that he didn't care, it's that he didn't care enough to say something until a couple weeks ago, he brought it up and he said, hey, to his friend, he said, hey, have you ever noticed that I don't ever talk to you about God? And his friend looked at him and said, yeah, I have noticed that. Now, Ryan didn't talk with his friend about God because he didn't want to be rude, didn't want to in, in, impose anything. But his friend was like, you know, the sense I get is that when you don't talk to me about the most important thing in your life is that I'm not very important in your life. That's indifference. It's not not being moved. What it is is not moving. Indifference is a big challenge, and it's amazing that Father Mike humbled himself to share an instance where he failed. And I think that's what we have to do as Christians is be honest with ourselves and see where were we indifferent and how, with God's grace, can we grow. I also want to let you know that this video up here got 25,000 views in one day because so many people liked and shared the video. So thank you in advance for liking and sharing these videos. It really means a lot and helps us share the joy of the faith because it's a pretty dark time right now and people need joy. They need Christ, the source of all joy. So have a blessed day and God love you.